So, name's Rack, I'm a coach. Welcome to a sample. Now, <clears throat> this one's uh, going to be short and sweet because it's for a cough map, and it's also for Young Prefire, who is top 500. So, this isn't a particularly like detailed one, but I did promise him that I would review this VOD, and unfortunately, I ran out of time at yesterday's stream, so I just made sure I would do it today on a sample. We're just going to go over his gameplay and just see how he's doing as a <clears throat> as a Genji man, we've got a few got a few notable players in this one, so it's good to see. Prefire doing the work. Now just so we're clear, he is a hit scan main, but he's been uh press ganged, we're gonna call it press ganged into playing Genji for his team at the current time. So he's been picking it up rather well and it's doing quite nicely, so we're gonna see how well he puts it on for this map. And village is a little bit of an awkward one for for Genji, but we're gonna see how he goes. I think assume we're gonna go for the flank. Or an offing. No, never mind. We'll just change our mind twice. He took so long to get to this point you're gonna have to go around, yeah. Mm-hmm. The big thing, if you're not going to run a Symmetra, and they are, you, you kind of have to give this up by default. Just a thought. At least it's not the first one until you actually get it, like an outrunning pick. Whether you at least use the dash to be on the opposite side to leave. If you had committed to a fight there, it would have been a very bad idea. Nice reset. Nice. Good aim. You don't ever want to be committing to being stuck on the point there either when you go for those dashes, so... Wasn't too bad. Keep an eye out for both sides, stage accordingly. You heard, you heard one of them in the room above you. You heard two of them. PvP with the standard burst. I don't ever want to get to a point where you have to actually commit your dash to start the fight. Just purely because it ends with situations like this where you don't actually have a means to properly like execute here. The good news is that they were down a member before this fight had even begun, so at the very least you come away with a win and you can come away with staggering. Oh, that was unfortunate. Ooh, walked right into that cap gun too, dear lord. I was only made unfortunate just purely by the position you were put in before. Nice deflects. I wouldn't say that was a particularly great blade. I feel like you kind of just overcommitted for that backline. A lot of that just comes down to just the way you approach this fight. Like, I get that on top of everything you're trying to do here. And the position you've been put in. Given that you have the dash here, there's, like, the tire's already going to take care of half this work on its own. If you really want to get this point back for yourself, it's not the worst thing in the world. But... They were already staggered off the point. You might have actually had a better time just co connecting more people with it. But I'm not going to hold that against you. And because you do have other ults available for <clears throat> for the next fight, which should almost guarantee your one point. Stash. Yep, easy win. That's about as standard as I expected it to be. No particularly bad target selections, just a lot of weird uses of dash. 
at least the first time you used it, you just dashed right through and just used it to go around. But yeah, I wouldn't be a huge fan of, of the other dashes just purely because you were committing to the fight using that dash and it's not really the best way to really go about it. See what happens on point two. You got some ideas if you think you're going to reach that high up with that, uh, with their Echo Mercy. I don't mind if you go off angle here and just like hog the health pack, but you have to make a decision. You're kind of just angling around in the front. It's not the greatest like start out either. I never recommend this. It's basically like the equivalent of like badly costing traffic because you took that damage coming across here. You have to make them commit a cooldown just to get you out of that. Like the big issue when you try to approach this, right? And this probably is like partially indicative of how Nepal plays out, but given that you're Genji, you've got to find like an angle to get around the back and just harass the back line, or at the very least just off angle for long enough so that when you go to approach this point, right, and the enemy is like trying to posture around this side, it at least drives them either out and over the side, or if you're on the other side pushing them here, you, you push them towards the walls. You need to be able to try and push them out of that point to start off with. And then from there you can fight wherever the hell you want. But the big thing that kind of separates this from other cough maps is the fact that there is actually cover in the middle. And the big problem there is that if you keep crossing open traffic by just taking poke as it goes along, you just end up falling behind over and over again and just wasting cooldowns. The amount of times you like spend ash just to go across the middle with the hope, the hope, that you're actually putting pressure on somebody on the enemy team is just meaningless. That's why nothing happens in this fight and you immediately lose it. Nice kill though. It's unfortunately nullified by the res. Playing like a tank now, which is kind of interesting. That's the thing. Like, you wouldn't have had other people there ready to take that point by default. So you really think that's going to result in you being able to actually just take this fight for free. Like, when this starts out, I'm just going to go back a little further. Like, you are the only person by this point... Everyone else is starting to come up there. You aren't even in a good spot to flank. The fact that you don't die earlier is kind of nuts. You're committing to this fight way too early. You're supposed to be committing from an off angle at the very least, and you're literally committing in the middle of... Three people. Four people. <sighs> Technically three and a half. But... Anyone can melt you in this particular position. It doesn't give you any benefit to be here. I don't get why we're not just waiting for others to come in and do this. Like, you think contesting the point means something, but you're just kind of wasting the tree to get, like, that on you. When it doesn't actually work for anyone else who's in the fight at all. Which is what makes this attempt even worse. Because, again, you can't dash high enough in the air to make it through. is a very silly moment. <sighs> At least you have Nanoblade for this. Just a matter of you actually executing the combo properly. Oh, 
terrible blade. You knew you were going to get nanoed for that, I'm assuming, so I figured you would have at least started leak, like, sort of creeping towards their back line instead of trying to peel for your own. The sleep dart was in a good spot, but if you're going to trade out a nano blade for a naked blade, you've got to at least get more kills than that. That did not turn out well at all. Like, just for reference. Hang on. When this fight begins, right? You're already nano for this, so they already know that, like, you're... Like, they already know that they're going to try and counter it with Lucio Ult, but do you really think a nano blade is going to be able to be used like that if you don't actually get the proper swings off as well? Just... All those spent dashes and like failed failed movement, they don't really give you any leg up in these fights either. mind your position here because at the very least it puts you in a good spot to, f uh, to flank and goat herd here but you are playing this out a bit much like a tank like you gotta understand like you've got a junk you've got a junker queen and a junk rat that are more than capable of fighting around the point your job is to literally just pressure the back line here there's a lot of like really awkwardly spaced uh, sort of timings for your engagements here that are really going to make life miserable On other cough maps, right, you know that you would be playing from the outside and just looking in for an enemy to start on the point. It somewhat applies here, but the only thing is that, like, because there's a pylon, it's actually not too bad to play around the point on a right angle so that if they come in from one side, you can just dodge on either, right? That's not the issue. You are still a flanker, which means that you should be looking for those opportunities to flank or to pressure the back line, but you are spending way too much time alongside front line with, um, with the Junker Queen. It's not netting you any profit at all. It's not getting you back to your next ultimate any faster. It's not netting you a pick at all either. It's just taking too long to actually want that to happen for you. It's nice that they're at least very well fanned out on the outside, but against their team comp, you're not going to have a lot of mileage utilizing Genji unless you can actually either burst someone in close range as they fall to the floor, or to just build Blade and pray that no, no Blade will get you over the line. Rich. It's a bit of a bit of a large ass to try and get to that point. The good news is that you have two very strong uh, pure healers on your team, like throughput healers, which is good. Those are some shurikens you got to hit, especially when you're right in front of her. It's never a good idea to lead with that bloody dash, but you keep doing it. And even in top 500, we're going to watch you just completely fall off the handle with it. That's very saddening. back in what a sweet art just so he could try and get on to the point in time but he did not but yeah this guy is kind of beyond like the usual shortness that we're sort of used to in regards to like these videos for the roast but i think the biggest problem is still like your, your approach to fights needs work like you're a genji you're, you're supposed to be looking for an off angle flank or at least a pincer attack flank with junker queen and like your own 
front line doing the same work. Like you've got more than enough ground pressure around the around the point with Junkrat and Junker Queen. You've got double junkers and you're not actually like able to find a pick anyway because you keep spending your dash too early. The dash is just being used to close the gap and put you in a place, but it's not being used to burst down and you're not getting that mileage out of it. It's good when you actually use it to dash through and then go out and like be safe on a separate side. But towards the end of it, you started getting a little too cocky and you weren't actually able to like properly pull away any sort of attention from the point you were just it's they're getting collected in spite of that and we can't have that it's there's not enough like value to gain from from the genji pick if you're not actually like being that threat from the side like just with a this is a really shitty diagram right but i wanted to just kind of make this clear say this is the point right and they have like four people flanking like like on the back end of the point obviously they're not this close together and like they're kind of just fanning in and out from the outside of that your team's coming in from this side as a unit the three of them say and then off angle hit scan dps you would want to be coming from the opposite side towards their back line and you want to be able to find and pick off someone in the back line. Or at the very least, if they start clumping up because they have to like run away from your frontline engage, right? So like this player would essentially be either your hit scan DPS or like a Kiriko or something like that. But since you were running with the junk the junk route, the junk route would be with your teammates, your Anna would be on the range and just playing safely as a, as they were in this match. You would want to be finding the opportunity when your frontline engages and your Anna throws the grenade to actually pick off someone in the back line like this. Like I said, it's a crappy drawing, but at the very least, I need you to understand that like your timing needs to be aligned with what your teammates are doing, not with you just being aggressive randomly when your teammates aren't even at the point. So a little more, a little more spatial awareness, a little less weird dashing should be fine. Thank you for sending that in i hope you all enjoyed another edition of the sample i uh, <clears throat> do apologize for doing this in my current state like i said i've not i've not been having a very good uh day of late because i've just been very very ill last night but i do hope you enjoyed this content if you are looking for more content and private coaching from me you can find all that information on rec9.net it's my website or you can find uh, any of that information in my discord including uh free coaching paid coaching private coaching and all added benefits also on my patreon patreon.com slash rec9 either way hope you all enjoy it i'll see you all soon good luck for your grind in season seven love you all best to you bye bye